Hey guys, Slash West here. Welcome back to the Beatemon Archive. Today, let's check out Super Beatemon 58, the Green Bomberman. Now, uh, I'm not 100% sure if this guy's name actually is the Green Bomberman. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure, according to the wiki, it is Green Bomberman, and, well, he's a Green Bomberman, so let's call him the Green Bomberman. <laughs> Uh, anyways, this is a pretty simple beat em on um, not a whole lot to get up, uh, get onto here So let's just jump right into the box here. You can see he's number 58 right here um, And he is definitely one of those old-school bomber type beat em on With the good old bomber man logos over here and see on the top him just firing a shot I guess some kind of schematic look right there on top and see here's some other Bombermans. Uh, see, this is the problem with kind of calling these like blue Bomberman, black Bomberman, white Bomberman, uh, is because there's multiple white Bombermans with like different colored secondary colors and stuff, so it's a little bit problematic. I don't know if these guys have individual names, but whatever. Screw it. A lot of them are so similar that it's not a huge deal anyways, in my humble opinion. Please don't get too triggered, Bomberman fans. Uh, in terms of complexity, I mean, some of them do feature variant uh, variant cores and stuff, but compared to later series, they are, I mean, very, very simplistic. So, of course, we got this old-school, old-school Bomberman look right here, and right here you can see uh, this is basically referred to as the Quick Loading Core 1. Uh, I have it over here. This is uh, Master Kodiakuo Special 2 with the Quick Loading 2 core. So the original Quick Loading core was with the Green Bomberman. Uh, as far as I know, uh, this was the very first Quick Loading core in the entire beat -em on franchise. Uh, and again, this was the second one. Uh, let's just see here. And of course, we got Gil Scorpion here, the third. And the last one, most recent, Green di uh, Loading Dials, rather. I was just saying green dials because, uh, see, there's actually a green version of loading dials that kind of matches his sort of predecessor nicely. Uh, if you want a green dials, you're going to have to get that Hasbro exclusive one. A uh, little bit of a pain to get, but it's not the most rare Hasbro exclusive around. Anyways, back to our main boy here. Again, there's not a whole lot going on with this guy. I mean, quick loading gimmick, a lot of you guys should be familiar with this. It's just basically... You can see that we've got these little flexing prongs on the inside. So as they press down, they're going to flex out, and then they squeeze in, pushing the bidam into the chamber. Now, unlike uh, the uh, Master Kodiaku of Special 2, see this guy is a little bit, his core, I think, is a little bit raised. See, there's this little, can you see that little latch on the inside of the core? This guy uses a latch to kind of help, help with loading those uh, bidama. I got another one, I got another one right here. It's supposed to help, but basically, upon uh, repeated usage, <laughs> this latch tends to fall out. Uh, so, basically, I think, from this old design, this guy could afford to not have a latch, simply because, I mean, this core is just so low to the ground that it doesn't really even need the latch. Let me just see. Yeah, so, I mean, it's just so low to the ground that it basically just loads straight into the chamber. It's right there. It's actually got a decent amount of punch to it as well. I will say that, but I will say uh, I actually definitely very, very much prefer this quick loading core to uh, to that of Master Kodiaku Special 2. Uh, again, like I said, this latch falls out. Um, and honestly, the other thing is when you when you load these shots, I was, I was showing this in the uh, in the review for Special 2 himself. Well, the incomplete one, anyways. When you load it, you can see it just launch straight out the back. Uh, but with this guy, I'll just. If you take a look in there, uh, can you see it? It's just solid on top. Uh, you can't... This guy actually comes with two cores. Maybe I'll do a cut in a bit, and I can show you this guy's other core. But you see, with this current core, Bidama just stays in the head. There's just a flat platform in there, and the Bidama will rest in the core. But the point of that is... Uh, I mean, just like I just showed you, the Bidama aren't going to go launching out the back. So, in my opinion, this is just a lot better uh, than Special 2. That la that crappy latch doesn't fall out. You're never going to be inadvertently uh, launching your shots straight out the back. Uh, so, as a quick loader, I think this is much more effective. Uh, in terms of power, um, more debatable. Special 2 comes with a lot more matter, you know. Again, 
comes with a barrel. The barrel is also a grip uh, and sights for aiming at shots. Overall, this guy comes with more, but again, as a quick loader, uh, this green Bomberman is definitely, definitely superior. Um, now, something that you'll want to note, uh, Gil Scorpion... Uh, it's debatable. Uh, Gil Scorpion's probably better simply because he has a magazine, so uh, B Dama won't be launching out the back the same way as they do with uh, Special 2. So, of course, yeah, the magazine compensates for that. Uh, but the thing is, you can't really augment this guy's power anywhere. There's nowhere to really affect the hold parts or anything. Whereas this guy, you know, you can add power wings and wing grips, and uh, there's just more customization. You can't even really add much more of a barrel to this guy. I mean, he doesn't really need one, but yeah, you can't even add a barrel to your Gil Scorpion. So this guy can definitely be customized a lot more than Gil Scorpion as well. And, uh, I don't know, versus loading dials, uh, loading dials is, I mean, out of the box, uh, I would say loading dials is still probably better. <laughs> I mean, this guy's just way more common, way cheaper. And you're going to be getting pretty much uh, the same effect. Loading dials, I mean, every time, basically every single time I review one of these quick loaders, I'm just going to tell you to buy a loading dials. Or if for some reason you really want a green quick loader, get that green loading dials if you can find it. Um, if you really, really want one, just keep checking eBay. They, they, they show up from time to time. Uh, so it's not, it's not a huge deal. Alright, so uh, I went ahead and fetched this guy's other core. Yeah, he does come with two cores, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, if you take a look at the top here, you can see that it obviously allows for just normal Bidama uh, to just go right through the top rather than the bottom if you just want to use this guy as a conventional beat -em on uh, which I actually really like. And see, uh, part of that, I mean, it makes a lot more sense now because you guys might have been asking yourselves, you know, why would you have a back hatch if there's, uh, I mean, you know, if if the Bidama can't really load. I mean, I guess what's interesting is you can just straight up store a Bidama in here, right? So, I mean, that's pretty nifty. No point in really locking it in. Uh, you, you might also notice that I'm missing this one rubber peg. I actually got this guy secondhand pre-built, but I mean, the stickers were all still on the sheet. All the parts were there, except for that one little rubber bit. Uh, now, it is actually kind of nice. I mean, that provides a nice bit of stability and something that uh, these rubber bait... Um, these rubber bits of friction are something that's pretty much lost on most newer releases. I can't think of a whole bunch of new beat -em on that actually have r rubber that's really meant to hold uh, the base in place. Uh, again, it's just not a very common thing anymore, and I think uh, in terms of stability... I guess I guess you do want some mobility in new games, so this rubber really doesn't do a whole lot, but it's still something interesting. I like it. Uh, you can get a similar effect. There's these little rubber bases that you can get uh, to put on the bottom of OS gear uh, to get a similar effect. I don't think it gets you a whole lot, but uh, it's an interesting thing. Anyways, uh, let's just quickly, I'll just show you the process. I just pegged the legs off like that, and you take off the arms, and when you take these little ball pieces off, you can see that allows the head to come right off. And of course, we can just take off the trigger and the hold parts. And you can see the hold parts, uh, they go around the outside rather than through holes. I'm not sure if I pointed that out uh, with a previous Bomberman. But uh, it's a little bit interesting that the hold parts just go around rather than on the inside. But yeah, then you can just you know reattach to the normal core. And then these little, I don't know what to call these, hands, arms, uh, <laughs> balls, I don't know. I don't know, whatever you guys want to call these things. Oh, there's an alternate pair of feet that I had. I don't know. Oh, yeah, 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 what am I, what am I thinking? Of course it's going to have a different pair of feet. Obviously it doesn't need the whole feet for this normal core uh, that you attach to it. And I'll obviously not put on the back hatch because the whole point of this core is that we can now load, <laughs> load through the back like normal. If I can find a Bidama. Yeah, so we can just load through the back like normal and use this guy as a normal beat -em on So I think it is pretty cool um, that they, you know, didn't chintz out and they gave you an extra core so that you could do that. Um, and so you choose whether to load through the top or through the bottom. And honestly, uh, when you compare that to the way the quick loading gimmick is done with Special 2, I kind of prefer this. I mean, like I said, it's just super annoying when you're loading those shots and they just launch right out the back. It, it makes the quick loading gimmick kind of redundant. Whereas with this, it feels like, you know, you're meant to use it like that. Um, in my opinion, it's actually pretty comfortable to use with this guy. Uh, all in all, I just, I, I, I think I just generally... <laughs> like this guy uh, better than special two. 
Now, uh, let's just move this stuff out of the way and do, and do some, uh, some quick power tests with the Beast BV. See, we got 2.59, and that is actually pretty solid. If you're familiar with, uh, with, with most Beatamon, I mean, for the size of this guy, that's pretty solid. And, uh, really, really consistent. Like, yeah, pretty consistent, um... A little bit more powerful, I'd say, than probably your average zero system beat em on or something. Honestly, a surprising amount of power out of this guy. And, uh, of course, just like, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. I think I mentioned this in the Fighting Phoenix review and in the Battle Phoenix review. Uh, see, OS gear was designed to fit both uh, the older kind of bomber type Super Beatemon as well as the Super Beatemon Super Beatemon uh, that started with Fighting Phoenix and the OS system. So they are compatible with this. Uh, if you're going to attach a magazine to this guy, of course, you're going to have to pull off uh, this little ball here. Now, so yeah, if you attach, uh, if you grab some OS gear, you can. Uh, you can attach yourself a barrel or magazine to this guy. You're, you're not going to see a whole, whole lot of difference, but it is uh, something you can do. Because this is an older uh, Bomberman, you don't need OS gear. Again, if you uh, watch my Battle Phoenix review, I showed um, you could, there, Bomberman, uh, since they all had the same uh, mold of core, they didn't need OS gear. So you could just attach the barrels and magazines directly to these guys uh, without any OS gear needed. And, uh, I mean, I've just got some Bidama strewn about, so... Uh, just threw a barrel on this guy. Of course, throwing a magazine on this guy really isn't going to do much. So let's just go ahead and just snipe out a few targets with this guy just, just for fun. As you can see, sometimes the quick loader can have a bit of trouble uh, connecting. But I think the real main problem that I have with that is because this is a foam setup, right? Uh, you need some solid pushback. Uh, you need some solid pushback on uh, from, from the ground surface to actually get much usage out of this core, right? So I can see that even with this gear on, you get a bit more resistance, but honestly, I found that a lot less painful to use than Special 2. Again, if you watch that review, that latch just fell right out like crazy. Yeah, I mean, uh, all in all, this guy doesn't look like a whole bunch, but again, honestly, uh, compared to the next quick loader, I, I, I really prefer this guy as a quick loader. Uh, the, the, the next guy's special too. He may have a barrel, uh, he may have wing grips and stuff, he may have a whole bunch of extra plastic, but as a quick loader, this guy is superior. Uh, now the downside is, I mean, this guy, uh, is a super beat -em on He's an old super beat -em on Uh, in fact, this is probably the oldest beat -em on period that I own. I think this is from like 1995, 1996. Uh, yeah, this is the oldest beat -em on I own as far as I can tell. Uh, but anyways, uh, since it is an old super beat -em on uh, these can be a little bit pain, uh, of a pain to find. I only got this one because, uh, this one random lot I bought with other beat -em on just randomly came with one of these. I wasn't even looking for it. Uh, but when I got it and I figured out that this was actually the first quick loader, I was really, really glad to have it. Um, if you're a beat -em on collector, uh, I actually do recommend this since, again, this is the first quick loader. It's kind of a piece of beat -em on history. Um, and honestly, as far as quick loaders go, you could do a lot worse. Uh, this guy's a lot more open to customization uh, than than uh, Gil Scorpion, and again, I think it's a better quick loader than Special Two. If you do want a quick loader, just get a loading dials. If for some weird reason you want a green quick loader, you can get a green loading dials if you look around enough. Um, but yeah, that said, that's about it. So uh, this is Slash West, and I'll see you guys next time on the Beatemon Archive.